Understanding the phrase, on an inkling. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English expression, on an inkling. This phrase might sound a bit mysterious, but it's quite useful in everyday English. Let's explore what it means, how to use it, and some examples to make it crystal clear. The phrase, on an inkling, refers to having a slight suspicion or a vague idea about something without definite evidence. It's like a gut feeling or a hunch. The word, inkling, itself means a small hint or a faint idea about something. So when you say you're doing something, on an inkling, it means you're acting based on a slight, possibly intuitive, understanding or guess. Understanding where phrases come from can often help us remember and use them better. The term, inkling, has been around since the 14th century, originally meaning, a whisper or hint. It evolved to signify a faint idea or notion. The phrase, on an inkling, takes this idea of a faint notion and turns it into a reason for action. Now let's see how to use this phrase in real-life scenarios. 1. Guesswork. I chose the answer on an inkling, as I wasn't sure of the correct one. 2. Decision-making. She decided to check the old storehouse on an inkling that something valuable might be hidden there. 3. Intuition. On an inkling, he decided to take the less traveled road, which surprisingly led him to some beautiful unseen places. These examples show that the phrase can be used in various contexts, from casual guesses to significant life choices. While using, on an inkling, be careful not to confuse it with similar phrases. It's not the same as, on a whim, which implies a more spontaneous or random action without much thought. On an inkling, suggests a subtle reason or a faint idea prompting the action. I hope this video clears up any confusion about the phrase, on an inkling, and helps you use it confidently in your conversations. Remember, it's all about acting on a faint idea or a subtle hunch. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.